There will be alternatives to Russian natural gas supply in the five-year horizon, World Bank President David Malpas told CBS in an interview aired on Sunday. There's a lot of energy available if it's mobilized. There are alternatives to the Russian dominance of the gas market, for example. Uh, and so whether those changes are made it will be important. Many analysts, along with the world's largest liquefied natural gas exporter, Qatar, feel that replacing Russian gas in the short term is nearly impossible. Even before the Russian invasion, the high dependence of Europe on Russian pipeline gas was a source of concern in Europe, and countries were looking to buy more LNG to secure winter supplies in light of decade-low gas volumes in storage and Russian pipeline deliveries not exceeding contractual obligations. In the short run, there's, there is upward pressure, including on LNG, uh, liquefied natural gas, that the U.S. ships to Europe, it, it, and Europe will need a lot more. But it's available. Just before Putin launched an attack on Ukraine last week, Qatar said it could divert only 10 to 15 percent of its LNG cargo contracts to other destinations right now. Replacing Russian gas deliveries to Europe in the short term is almost impossible, the Qatari energy minister said two days before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, explaining that most LNG is tied to long-term contracts to specific locations that cannot be changed. While the European Union and the United States are trying to avoid hitting Europe's energy supply and raising American gasoline prices even higher with sanctions, Germany, for example, made a major U-turn in its energy policy on Sunday. Germany will support the construction of two LNG import terminals and is not leaving any energy source, not even coal or nuclear, off the table, as it will now look to cut energy dependence on one supplier.